Um, this is November 22nd, and I'm in the science tent. Uh, Dale was staying in here the last couple nights um, when his tent collapsed, uh, but we've put up his new tent and he's moved out, so it's turned back into a science tent. So not much science is happening here uh, yet. Uh, because we don't have any samples and most of the science will be based on samples. But today's been a good day. I went out with Chris earlier today and we collected some samples from the surface of the lake ice for our hydrogen and oxygen isotopes. Uh, he wants to see if there's an isotopic shift from sublimation and how far that extends down into the ice. Uh, after that, I walked uh, along part of the front of the glacier and saw a bunch of ice pushed up and uh, there's even a spot where lake water is leaking through some of the cracks to uh, form a pond. Uh, it had liquid water on it today. Uh, it was really, really beautiful. And then I walked to the edge of the glacier and down across some moraine, some of its ice cord, and some of that was a little bit damp and there was some snow melting. Um, there was a little bit of sun today, but it was mostly cloudy. Uh, but still, there was enough heat to, from the sunlight to melt some of the snow and ice that was in contact with dark sediment. I walked back along the lake shore looking for the windscreen for the snowmobile with almost no hope of finding it, which I didn't. And then Ian and Dale were putting up Dale's new tent, and so I helped them for a bit and uh, then came back and spent most of the afternoon working on mats, uh, both editing the paper. A paper describing pinnacles in Lake Vanda and the McMurdo Dry Valleys and thinking about how Formidium. Um, type mats uh, like we have here might differ, differ from those that form uh, steep pinnacles, which I'm calling leptolingbia type, type mats. Uh, so after that, um, I made uh, potato soup so we didn't eat freeze-dried uh, food tonight for dinner, and uh, we ran out of propane in a small tank in the cook tent, and so uh, we put in a big tank uh, for that, and then I set up the table in the science tent, and that's where I am now. Things are more or less back together after, I don't know, five minutes maximum amount of work since I haven't put the microscopes up yet. And that's where I am this evening, so it's about 10 till 8, so I think I will probably go fix myself a cup of Rubos tea and uh, maybe head to bed, do some reading first. So, thanks for watching.